public schools reached a major milestone recently when students of color became the majority. This trend will continue as the nation's population becomes more diverse. But even as enrollment continues to change, the teaching force remains remarkably unchanged. In Illinois, Black, Latino, and Hispanic students outnumbered whites a full year before the rest of the country, while at the same time the state mirrored U.S. trends in lacking teacher diversity. More than 82% of teachers in Illinois are white. One of the most pressing issues in Illinois schools that our state desperately needs to address is the shortage of teachers of color. Research has shown time and time again that having diverse teachers matters, but it is particularly impactful for students of color. A recent study bears out an unfortunate truth. When evaluating the same students, white teachers are more likely to predict negative outcomes than black teachers. Teacher expectations impact student performance. Meanwhile, shortages of bilingual Latino teachers persist, and the long-term retention rate for Latino teachers is lower than for white and black teachers. GYO is one of the only successful programs that is able to offer a solution to an often intractable problem. I am the only African-American male a teacher in the high school, which is problematic. I've talked about it often um, that we have a little over 500 high school students that we serve. Our school is 50% Latino, 50% African American. There's one of me. When we recruit candidates into the program, we want to attract people who not only have a passion for teaching, but also who have a passion for teaching in communities like the ones they grew up in. And a number of our folks, a number of our candidates, already work in schools. They work in their neighborhood school either as a paraprofessional, some sort of support staff, or they're parents of students who attend their neighborhood school. I was basically a stay-at-home mom, and I was teaching my son how to read. I was teaching him basic math and things of that nature and it made me really realize that I had a real interest in teaching children. I think the biggest hurdles for me were um, going back to school um, because I hadn't been in college for 10 years. Applying to college was very difficult, even knowing how to start. I have two children, being a parent and having to kind of organize my schedule with Grow Your Own, I felt like I always had um, support for anything I needed in school. I knew I could count on them to help me with whatever I needed. What I noticed about Grow Your Own Teachers was that their level of compassion and dedication to their students was above anyone else that I could see. They went out of their way to make these personal connections with students, to really try to understand what was going to help these students be successful. I teach on the South Side in a rough area of Chicago. And a lot of my students, especially my boys, don't have role models that are in arm's reach of them. They don't have people who look like them, come from where they're from, who they can have day-to-day -day conversations and question or ask, you know, how did you do this? Becoming a teacher was one of my main goals in life and Grow Your Own definitely was a big part of it because it allows students to see someone from their race or a minority group um, be their teacher and can definitely connect with them in the classroom. They help return us back to a day when the teacher was a member of the community. Um, when the teacher was also a person that could be seen in the grocery store in the neighborhood and where impromptu parent-teacher conferences just happened to happen in aisle four. 2015 was a big year for us. We were recognized by the White House Initiative for Educational Excellence for Hispanics for our work recruiting and retaining Latino teachers. We were named a bright spot. The Albert Shanker Institute did a wide-ranging report on the crisis of the lack of teachers of color in our public schools, and GYO was named as one of only eight programs across the country that is able to successfully address this crisis. As a principal, 
you know, we're always looking for uh, great teachers. And I, I feel that through Grow Your Own, it just gives us another opportunity to really get some great teachers into schools that desperately need it.